Hello, in this video we'll be going over functions. When we're working inside of main, which is our function right here, we're working inside of a special function which uh, the program starts by looking at. And then uh, once it looks into main, it starts going uh, from top to down, um, executing code uh, in order. And so right now we have int x equals ret func. So ret func, if you look up here, is going to return um, an integer. It's, it's going to be returning an integer type, and what it's returning is the value 5. And so, and you also notice right here where I have void in the, inside the parentheses. This is a way of telling the compiler that this function should not be taking any arguments. So if we put in 5 or some type of number or something inside of the arguments, then that would be incorrect. This function is not supposed to take any arguments. That's why there's void inside the parentheses. Um, and so because we're returning 5, we're re actually returning... A value we can assign that to a value of the or to a variable of the same type so I can see here int x and then we have int ret func um, and then so once the function sort of executes it's going to return 5 which is then going to be uh, it's going to be assigned to our variable x and then right here we have a num num func which is a void function meaning it's not going to return anything so there's going to be no return statement and it takes in an integer as an argument and with the integer, it's going to print it out. And so that's what we're doing right here. Uh, let's go ahead and do look at that right now. So as you can see, we have five printed right here because we are passing in we are passing in five as an argument. So five is going to replace a, and so then we're essentially going to be uh, printing five because that is the value of a. So lastly, we have another void function that's not going to be returning anything, strfunc, which is going to take in a char pointer. Uh, this is another way of expressing a char array, or array of characters, or C string. Um, it's going to print that out in this function, and so then we can see that it, it did so um, from our main function right here, because we are calling strfunc and then passing in hello pcc as an argument.